Hello friend, welcome to my YouTube channel CAD Engineer. In this part, we are going to learn how to use limit contour tool. So here we already created some lines to define our zones. We have the boundary curve, we have line 1, line 2 and we have created some line between also. Now we'll see how to use that all. So first of all, we're going to create zone group. So we'll go to tool, zone group. Here we'll select the surface and right click create axis system. OK and OK. Now we'll create a zone. So we'll take zone 1. We'll specify the contour of zone 1. We'll select all the four lines and do OK. So zone 1 is created here. Now we'll define zone 2. We'll select all four lines again. Second side, do OK. Now we'll define transition zone. So define transition zone. We have to define that transition zone is coming under which zone. So we can specify here the zone 1 under which the transition zone is coming. Now I'll select the transition zone lines and do OK. We have to also define the laminates. So we'll go back to zone 1 and define the laminates value. So here I'll specify the value 2, 2 and here also we'll put it 2 and 2. Okay. Double click on the zone 2. We'll define the laminates for zone 2. Specify the material. I'll specify here 4, 6 and 4 and 2. Okay. Now we're going to connect all that zone 1, transition zone and zone 2. We'll click on connection generator, apply and okay. So all that has been connected together. Now we're going to create plies. For that, we'll use create plies from zone. So here we'll use create ply in new group and create plies from zone with the taper. Let's do OK. So here we can see that ply group has been generated. So total 16 plies we have. Let's see the preview, how the ply has been generated. We'll go to ply explorer. Select this draft isolated surface, apply. So we can see the preview. Now let's cancel it. Now we'll see how we can limit this, the ply area. We'll go to the option, create a limit contour for a ply. Now here we'll select the ply group. We have to select the curve under which we have to define my limits. So I select first curve and second curve. Now here we can see the arrows are coming when we selecting this lines. This arrow will be telling your direction of the ply where the ply will become. So I keep my direction right now inside. So only this area will be covered. The ply will be created only on this area. Let's do close here and apply. OK. Now let's check by ply exploder. Apply. So we can see that ply has been formed only in particular area. But if I want to make the ply in other area for that, let's go to undo. We'll go to again limit contour. Select the ply group. We'll select this. Now we'll change this direction by clicking on this arrow. Again, we'll press shift button, select this and click on the arrow. Apply. OK. Now you can see here, it's not showing the plies here. Now let's see the ply exploder. So again, we'll choose that option. Drafted, tessellated surface. Apply. And OK. So here we can see the plies in particular limited area. So this is how we can use limit control tool. If you like this video, Please comment and like this video and subscribe our channel. Thank you for watching this video.